Remember, practice makes perfect. Now excuse me, please. Hello, teacher. I am sorry to bother you. Actually, I want to ask something. Oh, hello, Ahad. What's the burning question on your mind? Thank you, teacher. I am facing a bit of a challenge improving my English. Though not bad, I feel the need to progress swiftly. Well, Ahad, you have already performed too well in the last exam. However, I understand the urgency. Let me offer you some valuable tips. As I observed, you always try to jot down new words that you read or hear in your notebook, but you do not use them in your speaking and writing. It's not just about note taking, Ahad. Actively use the new words you jot down. For instance, if you learn the word book, integrate it into a sentence like I like to read books or a book reading is a good habit. Got it. So it's not just about writing them down, but actually using them. Exactly. Association is key. Connect the new words with others. This method reinforces memory and application. The next step is immerse yourself in English daily. Immersing myself in English daily sounds challenging. How do I go about it? Immerse yourself in English daily whether it's writing your diary, a to-do list, reading the newspaper or listening to podcast on your commute or a post on social media. Make English an integral part of your routine. That makes sense. It's about making it a part of my everyday life. Can I watch English movies with subtitles at first? Perfect. Don't be afraid to rewind if you miss something. The more you hear and see English, the easier it becomes. To do practice of English speaking, you should find English buddies. Talking to friends in English is good, but they sometimes lose motivation. I know that feeling. That's why finding an English buddy can be helpful. It's someone who wants to learn too. So you can practice together and help each other. You can even correct each other's mistakes in a friendly way. So it's like a support system. That sounds encouraging. Staying disciplined is easier said than done. How do I keep myself disciplined? Motivation is excellent, but discipline is crucial. Stay committed. Even when the initial enthusiasm fades, discipline ensures consistent effort. Got it. It's about sticking to the plan even when it's get tough. Right. Now it's time to read. You need to read everything around you. Reading everything in English sounds a bit overwhelming. Do I need to read boring book? Read widely. Books, newspapers, websites, emails, even serial boxes and billboards. Exposure to diverse content enhances your vocabulary and comprehension skills. So it's about variety. That sounds more interesting. Learning language sounds hard, not fun. It doesn't have to be. Find ways to make it enjoyable. Do you like music? Learn the lyrics to your favorite songs. Are you visual? Use flashcards with pictures or funny drawings next to new words. Everyone learns differently. So experiment and find what works best for you. That sounds way more fun than root memorization. Exactly. Remember, even though learning is fun, it still takes discipline. Practice a little bit every day, even if it's just for 15 minutes. Consistency is key. How often should I practice? I study English every day, but someone said that's not good. The frequency of practice depends on your capacity. Why someone can handle extensive daily practice? Be realistic but your own capabilities. Consistency is vital. So it's about finding the balance that works for me. But Miss Lisa, if I want to progress quickly, how can I accelerate my learning? If you aspire to quick progress, dedicate more time to practice. 
Learning a language takes time, but consistent effort accelerates the journey. So it's about putting in the hours, but being realistic about the time it takes. I can do that. I have one more question, Miss Lisa. Can I use a dictionary or translator? My last teacher told me not to. Using dictionaries or translators is not forbidden. Understanding the meaning is crucial. We can explore effective ways to use them in future videos. That sounds like a relief. I always thought it was a strict rule. All right, learners. I must head to another class. I hope these tips prove beneficial. If you enjoyed this conversation and want more insights, subscribe to Everyday English Academy channel and share the video. Your support means a lot. Take care and happy learning.